Matt Long is a retired New York City firefighter and was a first responder on 9-11. Last week, floods and fire destroyed his Breezy Point, Queens community. There it is. Matt, oh my goodness. How are you and your family doing? Not too bad, Dr. Drew. Thanks for having me on. Your attitude is good. You're making me feel better. How do you maintain a positive attitude when I, I've seen what people lose? They, they lose their, their wedding pictures, the pictures of their family. And, and this just, you know, as you know, all your neighbors lost the same thing. How do you keep such a positive attitude? You know, uh, I guess when, you, when you're faced with some kind of tragedy like this, you have to try to look for the positive. You have to try to look for a sign. Uh, you know, I just had one the other day. My neighbor, Kathy Brennan, her son was digging through the rubble and found her engagement ring. Uh, from her husband, her late husband. So uh, there's, there's, a, there's signs everywhere. You just got to keep looking for them and, and try to keep moving forward. You know, one of the women you, the, my viewers saw earlier on in a tape piece was saying that her kids, they lived a very a nice life, and now, th now they have perspective on that. And they, she said one of her kids said to her, geez, we really did have a lot, and now their house is just gone. So let's, ask, let's talk about why people don't leave. What, what do you think that's all about? I've heard a lot about fear of looting. Is that it, or just, is it just denial, or is it uh, bravado? Uh, I think it's a mixture of all three. I think, you know, um, you, you know it's, sad. it's sad that in this life uh, we have to lock our doors. It's sad that when we're asked to leave because of uh, our own safety that we're afraid that someone's going to come and steal from us. Uh, that's not the world that I want to live in. Uh, but it's a fact. It happens. Um, there's evil in this world, and it, it, I guess it has a place. Um, but I think a lot of people just said, hey, you know, uh, let's roll the dice. You know, we're, we, we gamble, and that's what uh, people did. And, and uh, unfortunately, uh, in Staten Island, it was pretty bad uh, life-wise. In Breezy Point, luckily, uh, so far, we're, we're still at a zero for fatalities, and uh, that's just amazing. In your case, it w did you get your kids out in, in, on time, or did you have a dramatic story of your own? No, nothing dramatic. I, you know, I, I was a first responder, and I listened to the warning. So I, we left on Sunday evening, and um, probably about you know, 24 hours a little early, but we left and, and sought refuge in my brother's house, and, um, and, 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 and we got out. I know a handful of people that decided to stay and protect their property, thinking that it wouldn't be too bad, uh, and luckily they all got out. What happened to your home? Uh, if you look at those pictures, one of them is mine. Uh, it burned to the ground. Everything we own is gone. Uh, I'm here on your show in, in donated clothes for the first time in my life, and that's, uh, that's, that's not a good feeling. No. How, and you're, you have how many kids? Three. Three little girls. And are they okay? Did they react badly to this? Do they understand what's going on? Uh, you know, uh, the, the 10 and 8-year-old, I think um, they have a good perspective. Uh, their mom does a great job with them, and, and they have a good perspective of what's happening, that, that this is a tragedy and that we only lost things. Um, we're all alive, we're all ha uh, healthy, and, and, a, and we can get these things back.